literally impossible to be behind in your own life. And yet so many of us feel this sense of urgency of, you know, why aren't we in this position right now? You know, we could have been here if we'd done this thing. Oh, well, you know, I'm this particular age and I haven't achieved this, this and this. You know, this is all made up. There is no behind, in front or anything like that, especially when it comes to your own life. You have your own specific path. You have your own journey in this life. And it is impossible to be behind. I can promise you that now. And I'm going to tell you why you feel this way. And I'm going to tell you how to stop feeling this way. It is something that has personally plagued my life for a really long time. I started feeling like behind in my own life, probably when I was like, started when I was 18. You know, especially after you finish school and you actually get to choose, right, I'm going to go to uni, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to start a job. When that when that um, decision starts to be your decision and not just like you have to get through school, everybody has to get through school. When things start to become, you know, in your control a bit more, that's when I feel like these feelings creep in of like, oh, you know, I haven't done this, I haven't achieved this, oh, I should have taken this path. No, we're going to end this feeling that you have today. In the past 10 years, we have had access to what everybody else is doing. We have at our fingertips access to the lives of people who are millionaires at 19, 18, people who have, you know, reached their career peak at 20, 21, people who are living like a life of luxury and um, abundance at a really young age and especially when we're past that age and, and when we aren't in that position even as, as a, someone who's older than that it can really fuck with our psyche it can really make us feel like we are somehow behind and you know the internet I guess has created this illusion that everybody is doing really well everybody's eyes are on the people who have done really well because of course you know you are successful when you have lots of followers so people's eyes and many eyeballs are on the people who have done really really well for themselves and then they obviously showcase their lives to everybody and it gives us this false sense of you know everybody's doing really well or there's lots of people that are doing really well and we lose sight of people who are just you know having a very normal life normal existence very you know happy in a, a pretty mundane or um less of that, that high life and we don't have access to that as much we don't see that as much so we end up feeling as though you know the norm is these people who have created this incredible success who have created you know a really interesting life for themselves and a, a lot of abundance and we lose sight of the fact that you know it's actually so normal for people to struggle it's actually so normal for people to not be successful it's actually so normal for people to not be doing as well especially at this young age when we're in this sort of um funny period of time in our 20s where we're still figuring things out but we are starting to kind of know ourselves more and like you know develop skills and so on you know we, we've kind of convinced that through the internet everybody else seems to be doing really well because again people are only showing that highlight reel we are comparing 100 percent of ourselves to like the two percent of what we see of somebody else's life you know people only show the highlights of their life and we know this this is like a common thing we've known this for a really long time but i i just want to emphasize that you truly are only seeing the best parts of somebody's life and remember that people will conceal as well the bad parts of their life they may not talk about those things because they may feel shame around it or they may feel embarrassed about it and so again it warps our understanding of like how that person came to be in the position that they are you know we don't understand or don't see the struggle that people go through or the hardship that people go through or the battles that people have had to face because it's not so attractive it's not so appealing i mean fortunately you know i'm actually really into social media uh, trend. So I do know that we are moving more towards this authenticity and we are moving to more towards this understanding of the behind the scenes that like people want to see the trials and tribulations, people want to see the behind the scenes and like, you know, they want to see the come up story. But certainly historically, this is less um, publicised, this is less talked about or shown. So we have this false sense of things you know, it's happening really quickly. Things are, you know, working out for people very easily. You know, they don't have to deal with hardship because we just see the end result and it's just not the case. And I think this can, you know, contribute to our feeling of feeling behind, feeling like, oh, but I've had to go through this, this and this, and, you know, I'm still struggling or, you know, um, I'm just not in that position. And, you know, feeling like, you know, we're somehow doing things wrong or doing life wrong because 
we you know we haven't necessarily had it easy or we we have had barriers put in place or we have had things to overcome that have limited our ability to be successful really fast or you know gain the success that we're looking for and i'm not saying that's an excuse you know if you want to be successful there's always a route it might just take it might just take you longer it might take you longer to get there because there are things that you have to overcome. You have to prioritise your mental health. You have to prioritise, you know, healing your trauma that maybe other people might not have experienced that's allowed them to get to places quicker because they haven't had those battles. So just know that we are really only seeing a very small percentage of people's lives. And it's so unhelpful to compare your life to that and feeling like, oh my God, I'm so behind. I'm, you know, I'm not at that stage yet. Like I should be because I'm this certain age and this person's done this with... You know by this certain age everybody has their own life experience and attached to that is is how actually if you really think about how everybody's lives and perspectives are so different it's so odd to compare your life to somebody else's experience you know no two person has the same um you know hardship trauma um luck privilege nobody no no two people not even twins have the same experience have the same mindset have the same mental faculties to deal with things that happen in their life positive and negative this is the realization that i came to because i would constantly or not constantly but i would frequently be putting myself down thinking why have i not achieved this by this age you know this person has and i'm like yeah but hattie you know you didn't grow up in the same place you don't have the same level of privilege you um, aren't the same gender. You had to deal with this particular thing or you didn't have to deal with this particular thing. And again, this is not me trying to like um, have this sort of victim mentality of like, well, woe is me or encourage you to be like, woe is me. Because again, that's a really unhelpful mindset and doesn't literally get you anywhere. But just being able to acknowledge the fact that you would have had, you would have come from a different standpoint from somebody else is so important because if you're trying to compare your experience to somebody else's um, who's had a completely different experience from you and you're trying to compare like the success that you've had and that maybe they haven't or likewise, it's, it's it doesn't make any sense because you're not coming from the same place, you're not coming from the same standpoint. There's all these things that intersect, all these experiences and will never create the same experience for any two people. So just know that like literally just from that basic fact that nobody has the same reality, nobody has the same experience, how can you possibly compare? It is, you're not comparing like with like, it's apples and pears, it's not the same thing. The way that you interact with other people can also you know, affect you and change the way you think. You might get some fantastic advice from somebody or you might have a bit of a step back because somebody's you know, dented your self-esteem so you're gonna have a different experience from somebody else and that would hold you back because you're gonna have to overcome that in order to start getting to where you want to be just as you know an, a piece of advice might propel you forward because it's made you change your perspective it's made you kind of think differently and has therefore propelled you forward so all these small things you know that every single person has experienced differently is going to contribute to their level of success and the rate at which they achieve success i sometimes do go into this feeling of ah, oh, but this person's, you know, achieved this by 26 and or 24 or 23 even, and I haven't done any of that. It's really important to not get distracted by those things and to, again, like limit your time on social media because being overwhelmed and inundated with what other people are doing can make you question your own experience and question your own hard work. There's so many things that are success that we that are intangible that we can't possibly see for example in my opinion you know having a very healthy relationship is a very good indicator of success having really great friendships is again another really healthy uh, is another really great indicator of success but we can't see that i can't imagine anybody blasting out the ins and outs of their relationship i i you know most people want to give this impression that their relationships and friendships are really good um, very few people are honest about it somebody might be extremely successful monetarily but you know we don't know what their relationships are like we don't know what the state of their mental health is like we don't know what their friendships look like they could be putting on this display that you know that, that suggests a financial abundance but might be in you know loads of debt we, we just don't know these things there's so many intangible things that we can't possibly know so to compare like your knowledge of yourself and all in all those areas you know friendships relationships possessions lifestyle etc to like one aspect that somebody has you know curated and um is then showing on social media is so it doesn't make sense like it's so um 
it's just not comparing like with like. Be on the side of caution, it might not be reality. And even if it is, that's just one part of their life. I feel like society as well has created this false sense of urgency, like, oh my God, we need to achieve a certain thing by a certain time. And, you know, again, it's perpetuated and sort of aggravated by what we see on social media, doing all these things on top of each other, you know, trying to juggle so many different things all at once, because many of us are trying to achieve a certain uh, level of success at a certain point otherwise we've somehow failed like for example i think about this idea of you know being 25 when i was younger i used to think 25 was like really old and i was like oh past 25 especially for women it's like you're past your peak whatever that might look like and um you know i think before i was 25 i was like, i have to achieve this by 25 i have to have to achieve this by a certain point and now i've got past 25 i have this feeling of like oh my god I've already failed like whatever I do now almost like doesn't count because I'm 26 now and I've passed my peak I've passed my point of feeling like I've achieved and now whatever I achieve is almost like yeah but I didn't do it by 25 so it doesn't matter and it's such I can't believe like that's actually really how I think because I logically know that's ridiculous and I logically know that 25 is so fucking young and yet I still feel this looming feeling of like, oh, well, you haven't achieved what you want to achieve by 25. So therefore, what's the point of even trying now? And I'm sure like many of you feel the same way, because especially for um, women, we are, again, seen as though our value kind of or certainly aesthetic value. Again, I really don't agree with this, but our aesthetic value somehow declines past 25 or even 24, to be honest. And you know, I think, again, other things play into that, you know, feeling like, oh, well, if we don't achieve a certain thing by 25, monetarily, lifestyle, career wise, we're somehow past our peak and therefore whatever we create or whatever we do from this point is less commendable or this is certainly how I feel. Like, I feel I'm that whatever I achieve now is, yeah, but OK, but you were 20 six like that's to be expected kind of thing is remarkable when it was before that and i think that this sense of urgency has definitely been exacerbated by social media having seen you know what people are achieving at young ages and um it's just not true <laughs> it's just not real it's like a fake sense of urgency you know in like corporations when you work for a corp corporate company and they create deadlines to create this false sense of urgency you know nothing nobody's gonna die if you don't hand in you know a report by a certain point nobody's gonna die nothing catastrophic is gonna happen all these parameters and all these goals and kpis are created by the company at the beginning of the year but it's just because they want to grow and they want to outperform themselves it's not because the deadline is actually life or death or or really that significant it's just that they want to achieve something by a certain point but they've created themselves it's not kind of like actually objectively important outside of the company and um i think this is the same this is what i think of when i think of like this like society as well and how they've created this sense of urgency especially for young people of of you know doing things or achieving a certain amount of things by a certain age and again it's just made up it's not real and that's that's really all there is to say about it it's made up you know, I think about all these people that have become successful at ages 30, 40, 50, 60. I think about even like Lizzo, you know, she was really grinding for a really long time working on her craft and really only saw success in her late 20s and early 30s. Um, you know, I can think of so many YouTubers that were in the same position. Some of my favourite creators started their journey in their 30s. And actually one of my favourite ones, she's in her mid 30s, I think, and she honestly says like she's so grateful that she didn't create this success for herself in her 20s she just wasn't ready and i really respected that um because again there's a stigma around especially women not having achieved or not being a certain way by a certain age like we're all working towards this timeline that is literally fabricated who started this because it wasn't us this is not an original thought no, like not many of us don't come into the world and think oh we should have achieved this by 25 that's made up it's a, it's a made up parameter. Success also isn't linear. You know, this is something that I really had to really learn because I just thought of things in such a sort of black and white way for quite a long time. Um, I thought, yeah, well, you know, successful people, something happens, they get luck and then they just skyrocket and there's this massive upward trajectory. And after reading Atomic Habits, I've realized that it just doesn't work like that. 
like it just doesn't there's two things i want to say first of all plateau of latent potential and second of all yes success isn't linear the plateau of latent potential is this concept that you are working 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 for a really long time without that being actualized without that being recognized without that hard work showing the fruits of their labor or showing the fruits of your labor even you know you don't get instant gratification every single time you make a step towards your goal and you're working 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 without seeing any results for a really long time and then suddenly there's this massive spike and everybody will call it an overnight success but what's really happened is you've been working 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 for a really long time you know like this like a slight upward and then it will just go exponentially up and this plateau here where that potential is building and building and building is is really the make and break make or break point because in that period of time so many people give up so many people because they can't see the fruits of their labor because they can't see the results of their hard work yet they think that nothing's working and it actually is it's building and building and building all this momentum all this energy and then it's going to just go insane at some breaking point as it were second of all success is not linear there are going to be times when you're doing really really well and then suddenly you'll have like a bunch of setbacks and then you know you'll have even more setbacks and you kind of feel like you're you know square one again and then you'll just go up this up, upward trajectory and then some bad things might happen and you have some sort of step backwards again and when we think about um as well even like celebrities people are doing really really well and then suddenly they get cancelled or some you know something comes out about them which you know holds uh, which pushes them back and you know they, they their perception of them in the public eye changes um so this is constant um balance that is to be made when it comes to success because even if you gain you know loads of success that could be taken away from you very quickly or um you might make a wrong decision and you know things go tits up basically and then you have to work around it and try and get back to where you were again so nothing is guaranteed no success isn't linear and things can happen at any point um, and so just give yourself grace, give yourself grace if things are just not working out for you right now. Like the beautiful thing about the universe is there's always balance. If you're going for hardship, you're going to experience something great eventually. Um, it's just one of those things. If you experience bad luck, you'll experience luck. If you experience, um, you know, financial abundance, you'll eventually experience financial, um, you know, lack. There's always balance to be made and just know that everything's always changing you know you're not always going to be in the same position forever and something that i really love as well is like you might feel like really down in the dumps like really you know oh i've got such a long way to go to where i want to be and actually you know in a matter of weeks you might just just the what you've been working towards might just take off you know i think about tyler um you know the singer and you know she really did come out of nowhere but the thing is we don't know the background that happened before all of that you know she would have been grinding she would have been working she would have been like really going for it and not necessarily seeing much come from it and then suddenly you know her fame just skyrockets and everybody knows who she is everybody knows her song you know she's you know finally self-actualized and um you know that's how it can happen it can literally happen overnight but we think that there's this like long journey to go. What's to say it won't happen overnight? What's to say that what you're looking for and the success that you're looking for won't just blow up overnight? That's the beautiful thing about it. And then you won't feel so behind in life. So yeah, I suppose just rem remind yourself that success isn't linear. You're not behind. Success is fickle and it is, you know, or the journey to success even is, you know, two step forward, one step back. That is very, very normal and you're not behind. The fact that you're even working towards your goal is success in itself one of my favorite um kind of speakers on this is a guy called earl nightingale and he literally says the moment that you start working towards your goal is the moment that you're successful that's it like you're not behind because you're taking action and i'll get onto this later and just remember as well that if you're feeling behind you have to overcome trauma and um mental health struggles before you were even able to work towards what you wanted to work towards if i think about my own journey i had to i had to spend like probably two years between the ages of like 22 and 24 and i'm still going but it's less intense now like healing like i would not have been in a position to be doing what i'm doing now really going for my goals really going for what i really want um if i had not done that healing work because i'd still be in that place of feeling sorry for myself in that victim mentality feeling like i didn't deserve success and i had to do a huge amount of healing in order to get to a place where I was even able to work towards my goals. 
and many people who have mental health struggles really can't even fathom working towards their goals because they're just trying to survive and just remember that like some people don't have to deal with that some people just don't have to overcome those struggles or maybe they dealt with it from a different age or um you know maybe they've got you know hardship to come that that will come in a different form for, for them but you know mental health and dealing with trauma can hold you back and that's not your fault and the fact that you're even healing it the fact that you're even trying to like work through it is success it does mean that you're going to propel your success forward and it does feel like really annoying that you kind of have to overcome that when maybe other people haven't had to overcome that um to get their success but just know it's going to equip you so well for what you will probably have to manage in success and what you have to manage you know in in the, the life that you're looking for um so just give yourself grace if you've been through trauma and you're working through trauma and, and healing parts of you that have held you back um and that doesn't mean that you're behind that means that you're honestly exactly on time and the universe needs you to work through this to give you what you deserve so just know that and give yourself grace for that it's taking you longer because you're looking after your mental health and your healing whereas other people may not be willing to do that. You know, there's lots of people who clearly and publicly grapple with their, you know, their mental health or trauma or whatever it is. You know, in tandem with that, they have the success that many people are looking for. That must be really, really hard, you know, as well to feel like, you know, you have what lots of people want, but you're still struggling mentally. You know, there's lots of people that haven't necessarily dealt with the mental health struggles. And unfortunately, as we know, when we don't deal with our mental health struggles, it will come out somewhere and um you know i think personally for me i'd much rather spend like intense couple of years really working through the grit and the you know the bulk of my trauma to then liberate myself to work on what i really want to do and then when i do get success i can still be happy um than you know avoid it for a really long time and not equip myself to work through these things and work through the trials and tribulations of life you know i think when you work on yourself and you work through that trauma you are setting yourself up for success and avoiding it kind of like I think can hold you back so just know that working through it and acknowledging it and having the strength to face it is a testament to you and is a testament to your success because you will get there quicker so don't feel like you're behind for having had to grapple with that you are strong for pursuing what you want to do despite it and working through it irrespective of it feeling like it's holding you back definitely the biggest thing that helped me feel like less behind um it's just taking action you know i think i was wallowing in this place for a really long time of like oh things aren't working for me things aren't you know progressing the way that i want because i wasn't really acknowledging the fact that i wasn't really taking action you know when i started taking action towards my goals I felt like, okay, I'm successful now. Just as Earl Nightingale says, you know, the moment that you start working towards your goals is the moment that you're successful. And I truly do believe that. Like, I feel successful because I'm just choosing to take action towards my goals rather than feel like, oh, things just don't work for me. I try and I fail. Like, no, just taking action consistently has really just helped me not feel that way. I just don't really feel behind as often as I once did because I know that, I'm literally and every day taking action towards my goals and that's all I can do like I I feel like the things that I that are in my control are um are sort of like optimized I feel like I am taking action and I think that's all you can really do you know if you're taking action it's literally a matter of time if you're taking action you're not going to be feeling behind because you know that you're doing what you need to do to get to where you want to be and that's all you can do in the present moment and and on that just start just start and again like I said I was holding myself back I was like oh I don't want to do this like I'm worried that it's gonna um, not work out and stuff but if you just start somewhere you're going to instantly feel better you're going to instantly feel like look I did something today towards my success towards my goals and I've done that and that's all I can do and you can feel proud of yourself for it um, setting goals is so important as well and like actively reflect, reflecting on your goals can be really important. I will do another big video on this because goal setting is so crucial to feeling like self-actualized and feeling like satisfied in your work and working towards your goals. Being able to set goals and reflect on those goals that you've set, you know, each month or each week or whatever it is, can really propel you forward, can really force you to like take accountability for like your actions and what you're doing to get to where you want to be. That's a whole different topic. I just want to talk about the sort of like 
um, psychological part of feeling behind. Um, but I will get into that in a different video. So obviously subscribe so you can keep up to date with that. But I kind of just wanted to end this video just reassuring you that you're not behind. You're on your own timeline. You're on your own trajectory. That's going to be different for absolutely everybody. You cannot be behind in your own life. The universe has a path. Trust the divine timing. That is what happens in your life and you will be absolutely fine. You know, you are doing amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took some value from it. Please comment down below your experience with feeling behind or feeling like this sense of urgency that society kind of places on us. I really want to know your experience. Anyway, with that, I hope you have a great remainder of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.